Installing a septic tank alarm is something I should have done years ago. So the alarm itself goes in the house, the float and the weight goes in the tank, and the long cord connects onto the alarm. So I think this cord is going to be plenty long enough. And according to this information from this company, it looks like they are using four different styles of floats. And I think I've got this one here. And the cord has just two wires and it connects to the bottom of here. And the alarm has both 9 volt and plug-in. And there are uh, buttons here. So I'd like to get this all hooked up and see how it sounds and see if it works. So I think if I hang this down here it should be turned off. Okay, so now I've got it plugged in and the uh, float is hooked up. 9 volt battery is attached. Float is hanging down there. See what happens if I press test. Works. Okay, so what happens if I lift up on the float? That would simulate a high water level in the tank. Hey, that works. Okay, so I think this is all functional. I also wanted to see if it works on just the 9 volt battery. So I've got it unplugged now, 9 volt battery is still attached, so the green power light is off, okay, but the battery is still here, hooked up, so what happens if I test it now, okay, so that works, and lift up on here, okay, so it works on just the 9 volt battery, so if the power goes out, and the battery is in good shape then the alarm should still be functional. This is my old septic tank lid and that thing is heavy so if you're curious what it weighs I plan on putting it on the scale. So it's over 170 pounds it looks like So what I've done now is I've hung two weights from strings attached to this broom handle and then I put some marks on the concrete and I want to shorten this broom handle later to, to uh, you know, basically I'm positioning where I want the uh, broom handle to be when I hang uh, cords on there. So the main float which operates the pump, I'm not going to be doing any work with it during this project but in the future uh, I'll have the, I'd, I'd like to have this broom handle positioned in such a way where I can hang both floats you know, and I, from the same broom handle and then, and then plus be able to slide them, position them. So if ever looking into another man's septic tank makes you feel uneasy, then now's the time to look away. So down there, that's the divider. And one of the weights is hanging there, the other one is hanging over there. I added some silicone just in case it wasn't properly sealed from the factory. A little bit extra protection. And this bead of silicone here goes around and uh, the idea is later I want to I want to have a string tied to this float around this area here and then uh, I can use that for testing like pull up on the string and then and the silicone helps to keep the string from sliding off I cut the broom handle down and it fits the newly made openings.
So for the most part, these are the tools that I use. This is a hammer drill. So down there is a black plastic pipe or a hose. The other end of it goes into the basement. So right now there's a cord coming out of it and that cord is for the float switch which controls the sewer pump. So I want to pull one more cord into there so I can get that cord into the basement. Here's a device that can be used to open plumbing drains. So I, I want to go into the basement with this thing and uh, feed that through and use it to pull the new cord into the basement. So now I want to see if I can fish that out of there. I don't need this here for now. I thought I would use this. See if I can... Grab it with this thing. Got it. So I've got the installation complete and I've got a string tied to the float switch for the alarm and I can hear the alarm go off when I pull the uh, string. It's not very loud because the it, it's inside the house and I'm out here but I'll pull on the string maybe the camera can record the sound as well.
I'll uh, pull on it now. Okay, so I'm. Uh, I think the uh, the height of the float will be okay. It's not touching the water now, and the other float that operates the sewer pump. I think that's it there. So I don't want the uh, the float action or the uh, the switch action to overlap, and uh, I'll I'll be able to tell when the when the sewer pump goes on, like just before the sewer pump goes on, and if the alarm goes on at the same time, or if the alarm sort of overlaps when the sewer pump is running, then that uh, tells me that I need to raise my alarm float. But uh, I think it'll be okay. See how this goes. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.